that will do donkey that will do that kind of performance from Chelsea you know what I mean it was one of those ones I'm not going to do a Diwali and flares and fireworks but it was a good good enough performance it, it will do the job um start of the season so I know chemistry fitness all of these things play a part but we need we need to pattern up a little bit but it's fine it's fine we'll take it um we'll, we'll talk about the defense because in a 3-1 win you'd expect me to be glowing and raving about the attack but that was disjointed that was messy especially in the first half um so we're going to speak about the defense who actually played unbelievable reese james at right back man the match for me you know goal and assist absolute screamer and i feel like he took personally what lampardy was doing for brighton in that first half you know skipping past players got an assist himself and they're both Cobham boys they've both been compared who should chelsea have kept right at tear well Reese James, unfortunately, he was like, listen, I'm not going to let you do this to me. I'm not going to let you embarrass me on this pitch. I've got a point to prove. As, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just release vengeance and anger. And you, you, you lot are just going to have to deal with it. And that's what he did. You know, it was an absolute thunderous shot. And if you know Reese James and you know what he's capable of, then you're not surprised. You're not surprised at all. You know, he's got that in his locker. He's great shooting technique, crossing technique, free kicks, corners, you name it. He's technically a very complete player. So that's not a surprise. Um, if he just brush up on his defensive awareness and positioning as that comes with age, he's going to be a complete right back. So I'm buzzing with that. Christian and Zuma, not too much to say. Just great performances, solid. But I'm not going to get hyped because these men are super inconsistent. I need this week in, week out. So let's keep that going. You know, Thiago Silva comes into the team. It's a nice problem to have. And Kante and Jorginho, great performances. Again, Jorginho, whether you like him or not, whether you want him to stay or not, that's your business. But at the end of the day, he took care of business today. Penalty, assist, you can't complain. So we move. He lost his cheek, didn't play well. I ain't going to say nothing. I ain't going to say it because it's the first game of the season. All I'm saying is pattern up. Pattern up real quick. So we've got a lot of work to do this season. I ain't trying to mess around. So in a bit. And three points secured. That's it. Three points secured. And honestly speaking, the football was not champagne football. It was London Pride beer football. That's it. It was London Pride beer football. Lots and lots of work need to be done to turn this uh, London Pride beer football into champagne football. Lots and lots of work need to be done, especially the team chemistry. Five, five new players have come in. Five, five new players have come in. It is very difficult for the new players to come at the new uh, atmosphere and uh, get it kicking, that's it. To get it kicking. It's difficult. So, the team chemistry has to improve. But today's match, there were lots and lots of positives and lots and lots of negatives also. I'm going to tell you the positives first. First positive is that Reese James, fantastic. That's it. Fantastic. My man of the match. A lightning strike to the goal that tore apart and ripped apart the net. A lightning strike by Reese James. That's why he's the man of the match. Amazing thunderous strike. For a thunder strike and good defensive work, he gets man of the match. 9 out of 10 for me, my ratings. 9 out of 10. Now talking about 52 million striker, Timo Warner. Honestly speaking, two positive aspects of his game, two positive aspects. One is blistering pace, thunderous pace, lightning pace. And second one is positioning. His pace especially will be very, very useful for us in the counter-attack. In the counter-attack. Very, very useful. And if the team management and the midfielders supply the ball earlier to him so that the defenders don't close down, then he'll be very, very useful to, for us. He'll be very, very useful. He can score lots and lots of goals this season. But his blistering pace will be very, very handful for us in the counter-attack. Very, very handful. Just can't wait for Captain America to come back. Captain America to come back and then Hakim Ziyech to come back. Maybe we can see some champagne football after that. From that beer football. We can see some champagne football. Then, another positive aspect of today's match was defense. Defense did a fairly good job today. Defense did a fairly good job. Especially Christensen did a good job. Zuma played very well. Zuma played very well. He has to improve. And it'll take time, little bit time, some uh, three, four games. Give him, I'll give him time. The biggest negative of today's match is Kepa Ari Zabalaga, the goalkeeper. How many more chances, man? How many more chances? How many more chances? How many more chances to prove yourself? How many more chances? Huh? How many more chances? Seriously, worst goalkeeper in the Premier League. Worst goalkeeper. Statistics shows. Performance shows, everything shows. Worst goalkeeper. And each time, uh, whenever uh, the opposition shoots the ball on target, seriously, a heart attack will come watching him uh, at the goalkeeper. Seriously. 
how many more times? Really, this cannot continue. This cannot continue, and a new goalkeeper has to come. ASAP, ASAP, get Mendy ASAP, get Mendy ASAP. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. This guy doesn't deserve any game time. Doesn't deserve any game time. Today also easy save it was. Easy save it was not very difficult save. As if some Stone Cold has given some stunner or Randy Orton has given RKO from nowhere. It was not very difficult. As if Goldberg has come and given spear over there to him. That he cannot save such easy easy goal. It's Brighton. Not Goldberg, Randy Orton or Stone Cold. Not Legends. It's against Brighton. So you are expected to save. 80 million they have given. World's costliest goalkeeper. And giving shambolic performance games after games after games after games after games. So the set midfield players have got to defend the goal better. And it's easy to blame this keeper because he makes a lot of mistakes. And you, you always blame him by the looks of it. No, no. The, 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 it's there. The stats are there for, to see. You know, when you look at the amount of goals... It, I'm not sure... 13 shots on yeah, target is about, letting nine. But did he, is he as made as many mistakes as David De Gea last year? Well, no, no. The, 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 it's there. The stats <clears> are there for, to see. You know, when you look at the amount of goals... It, I'm not sure... 13 shots on yeah, target is letting nine. But did he, is he as made as many mistakes as David De Gea last year? Well, because he's the last of the defence. But sometimes the whole unit from the back four to the centre midfield players have got to defend the goal better. And it's easy to blame this keeper because he makes a lot of mistakes. And you, you always blame him by the looks of it. No, no. The, 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 it's there. The stats are there for to see. You know, when you look at the amount of goals... It, I'm not sure... 13 shots on yeah, target is letting nine. But did he... Is, is he